This video is showing a horse being gastroscoped. So after a 12 hour fast, the camera is passed up into the horse's nostril and down into the esophagus and into the stomach. We're currently looking into the stomach and the scope is retroflex to look back up at the cardia, which is the entry point from the esophagus into the stomach. In horses, the cardia is really well developed and that is why they're unable to vomit. We continue looking all around the stomach and this is the hydrochloric acid, which is the very strong acid that is responsible for digesting the horse's food. We are now gone right to the bottom of the stomach and looking at the exit point into the duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine. We look for glandular ulcers in this area and this horse, thankfully, has no abnormalities shown. Ulcers in this region require different medication and management compared to squamous ulcers that we'll talk about in a little second. This is why it's really important to have your horse gastroscoped so we can see where the ulcers are and adjust the medication and management as necessary. Next, we come out of the strong hydrochloric acid and we now have a look at the rest of the stomach. The bright pink area is the glandular epithelium, whereas the lighter pink is the squamous epithelium. The glandular region is protected against the effects of the strong acid, however the squamous epithelium is not. Therefore, we can have problems with ulceration if the acid is splashing onto the non-protected squamous epithelium. The same can also happen around the cardia. Therefore, in those horses that are prone to this kind of ulceration, it is a good idea to give them a big chaff feed prior to any exercise being done. We are now coming back out of the stomach into the esophagus. Finally, now the horse can eat.